What up, y'all? So I wanted to do a quick video review on this new track by Lauren Hill. And for those of you who are living on Iraq and don't know, this past weekend, Miss Lauren Hill released a new track on iTunes called Neurotic Society, as required by her legal deadline that she had. She had stated this in a letter on her Tumblr account. The art cover for the track is pretty plain. It's in a silver background with the title all lowercase and black letters. Um, I actually heard first heard the song on a blog site. And when I first heard it, the beat came in. I was like, okay, I can dig this. And then when I heard the first, when the first verse started, it was going really, really quickly. So I felt kind of overwhelmed trying to listen to everything she was saying. And I started to think maybe something is off, you know. The rap, maybe she's rapping too fast for the beat, or the beat is too slow, something seemed off to me. Plus, the song has no hook at all. It's just an instrumental beat between that separate the verses. Alright. So, you know, after the first listen, I decided to give it another listen. After a few more, the song grew on me. The song is really different from what I'm used to hearing from Lauryn Hill. You know, I still remember buying her first album, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, back in 1998. And that was a really dope album. And of course, all the stuff she did while she was in the Fugees. I actually remember when they did the Fugees reunion in 05, and they did like a whole melody of their of their songs on, B 106, on uh, the BET Awards. But, you know, that didn't last long, and I was kind of disappointed that a new album never materialized, but it is what it is, you know. I also remember uh, uh, during the her debut album, a rumor had been flying around saying that she was a racist. She, supposedly what, had, what she had said was that she'd rather have her kids starve than have white people buy her albums. She has denied this claim many many times I guess what she had said got misinterpreted for those of you who don't know I have family members that are Caucasian white people you know my stepfather is white all right so you know I, I just hope she wouldn't have said something that offensive you know I don't I don't believe that she's racist anyways on the flip side I'm really really excited to see Lauren Hill back it's been about 10 years since an album, she's made an album, that's if you're counting the Unplugged Live album that she did in 2002, but technically she hasn't released a new studio album since 98 though. So it's been about 13 years. I do think she's overdue for a comeback. You know, um, she left for specific reasons, so it's good to see her back. I actually heard a song a couple years ago that she she did, it's called Repercussions, it was like a demo version of the track, a hard, rough copy of the track, but it was, you know, the one thing I like about her is her lyrical content, her content of the music that she puts out, you know, she's not just going to put trash, no, nothing trashy out there, you know what I'm saying? And she, she does her, you know, she doesn't really follow a trend, she doesn't do what, you know, what's hot right now. And, you know, again, there's always a message behind her music. You know, some artists in this newer generation, you know, they have an image, they have a certain image, you know, they have some type of gimmick to be popular. And, you know, auto-tune is real big, you know, which I think is way overly used and people should stop using it like back in the 90s it was used but it was used so it wasn't like a lot but it wasn't for a whole damn song though that's the difference so, you know so. things have changed a lot and most of you know most of this dance euro pop electro house sound or music whatever you want to call it most of the stuff I don't even listen to I think it's terrible and I think I do think it's time for a change and I think Lauren Hill could could be that other person to change the rap game as well you know again I like the track it's just different I'm just not used to hearing this futuristic sound that she got going on I I don't think it's a strong enough song to be single worthy but 
I think it's a great promo song to showcase what she has in store or how she's evolved in the last 15 years or so, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't heard the song, I'll be posting the link below in the description box, so make sure you check that out. But tell me tell me what you guys think about the track. Have you heard this? Have you heard it yet? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Until next time, take care of yourself. Love one another. Stop the violence. And on that note, I'm out. Peace.